This is our last day on the hard, and you know what that means. Going where the fair winds blow, our home is where the waters flow. We'll show you what we've come to know on board while sailing wisdom. Exciting things are happening. So uh, we are going to be hauling out tomorrow, which means we have to kind of get in line because apparently here they tell everybody to get there at the same time and they don't really make appointments. So we need to kind of tie up right by the slip so that we can kind of get in and first thing in the morning and be on the hard so that we can paint as fast as possible because we're going back in on Friday and tomorrow's Wednesday. So. That means it's time to untie, finally get out of this slip, <laughs> and for the first time in a very long time, and make our way over. We've never had a haul out this efficient before. A bunch of guys just showed up at the boat and jumped on and started moving it, <laughs> and uh, now they're just taking care of it all, of, all the, by themselves, and it's a whole team of guys. So today is a special day in more ways than one. It is also Herbie's 34th birthday. <laughs> it's my birthday. You can't see him smiling because COVID. <laughs>
professional boat painters um, watching, I'm, I'm sorry <laughs> that you have to see this, but this, this is cool for us and uh, we're just gonna slap on the last coat now. It's gonna be dark blue and tomorrow we'll get the mural done, uh, but I think we've worked really hard today and we're gonna finish it up strong. So the reason we did blue, white, blue is they didn't have enough paint to do three coats of blue and white would kind of be like a neutral color behind it so it wouldn't change the color of the top coat. It's doing what you can with what you have. It's a job done. It's not a job well done, but it is a job done. I mean, we, we put three coats. It, it doesn't look good, but uh, that wasn't really the intent. We're really just trying to slap on some paint as quickly as possible to... Yeah, we're putting poison on yeah. the bottom of the boat. It's not art. Yeah, it it's... will be art tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're really, we're really not concerned with uh, the perfectionism of the bottom, especially right now since we didn't even sand it or anything. It's, it's bumpy, it's imperfect, kind of like us. So we're gonna get ourselves cleaned up. We, <laughs> I definitely... I got some paint on the boat, but most of it went on my stone. <laughs> so we're gonna get a shower and get all cleaned up and then go have a special birthday dinner for Herbie. We were lucky enough to have the assistance of a good friend that we've just met uh, the other day in the marina. He's just a fabulous guy. Um, his name is Phoenix. And I can't believe how much he helped us tonight. So he's coming to the birthday dinner as well. And it's gonna be a really nice way to end a very productive day. Last night we had a fantastic birthday dinner for Herbie and went to bed super late and today, oh my gosh, I am so sore. <laughs> my whole body hurts, but it's mural time. So the big challenge is gonna be painting around these wooden jack stands. We've never had wooden jack stands before and they take up a lot of space. So this is gonna be an interesting one. Every time you two are getting rough, my mind just sounds like Shia LaBeouf. It says no, 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 no,
I'm going to be installing a mantis anchor swivel onto our mantis anchor and connecting it to the chain. Now a really nice thing with the mantis swivel is so many parts when you order them they come in a box and they say oh but you also need these random things and one of the random things you need to put the swivel on is some Teflon tape and some seizing wire and it comes in the kit like that to me is just such a sign of quality. So the swivel is pretty straightforward. It's, you know, attaches to the chain and attaches to the anchor. And it's all held captive and swivels on like just the most simple and elegant parts that are just tied together in such a strong way. It's, it's really well engineered. So we've actually not had a swivel on our boat for three years because swivels are the weak point. So we don't want to add a weak point in our chain system for our anchor road. So therefore, we've been doing without. But when we anchored for weeks on end in areas that had uh, pretty strong currents, we turned so much, we, the chain literally tied knots in itself. That one time I pulled it up and it was just this mess, made me realize we need a swivel. So here we are. So installation's really simple. You simply have the last link of your chain and you put it into this holder and then you just put this pin that's kind of elongated right through. The next thing is you just take this cone and slide it up over it. And the last step is you just put these little pieces onto it. And it just threads together. So this is the simple assembly, but there's a couple steps we need to do before. Let's open this back up and get that Teflon out. It's all Teflon up. So now we have the Teflon on the inside. This guy screwed on. Now we're going to put these seizing wires through these holes. So it's going to be two seizing wires for this part, simply passing through this middle hole. Okay, now these are nice and smooth. The last thing we're gonna do is to attach the anchor to the swivel. Now, you put a shackle through. And when you put a shackle into an anchor, you always wanna have it so that the bolt is out of the anchor. You don't wanna put it like this if you have a swivel. Now, if you don't have a swivel, this is the correct way because the idea is that the chain can swing around on this and this just hinges. If you have a swivel, then you want to go about it the other way. Now lastly, we're just going to put some seizing wire through this guy as well so it can't come unscrewed. But fatiguing it, you get an edge that's actually pretty soft. Like I can rub my finger over this and it doesn't cut me and kill me. With that, we have a swivel. So as the anchor swings around, the boat swings around, everything, this is a new, this is a free joint that can move.
So we have the stern tied in. Now this is the, uh, they call it the slime line because it's gross. Uh, it lays on the bottom and then you pull it up and then it is your bow mooring pennant, which you see on like all the boats going out into the water. So I just have it onto the warp part of our windlass and I'm literally just gonna crank the bow out. And then we'll just tie a little seizing knot here to just hold everything really good or really well. And with that, we're tied off. So this is a uh, med mooring at its finest. The time has come. We are leaving Spain. We're casting off the lines and we're headed to Gibraltar. I cannot articulate or express in the proper words how liberating this feeling is. So we're here in the med, as you know. It's a lovely body of water. So I took a Dramamine and fell asleep as one does. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below. Yeah, it's doing what you have with what you have. What? Doing what you have. With what you have? It's doing what you can with what you have. There you go. <laughs> it's doing what you can with what you have. Ah, toesies. <laughs> <laughs>